Hi, my name is Xander and I'm nine years old. Hi, my name is Micah and I'm nine years old. Today we are talking story with the seven foot one center, Morsek, who plays for the University of Hawaii. Yeah, I'm chilling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you beat us in a 2v1? Uh, that's a good question. I'm gonna try my hardest because I know you guys can shoot, right? Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I would try. But maybe, maybe I can beat you guys. If you guys can shoot. How did you get so tall? I man, I'm just like uh, maybe eat a lot, sleep a lot, because my village, they don't have light like, like you guys do. You guys got light everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. We got like flashlight. When we was growing up, that's what we used. But we're going to bed early. When did you start playing basketball? Oh, so basically I playing ba started playing basketball in 2018. So growing up in the village, we don't know about basketball. We growing up playing soccer. So between 2017, 2018, I got an opportunity to one of my dad's friends saw me, a picture of me getting tall, look like you guys say. And he tell my dad to just like maybe bring me, bring me your son so I can teach him how to play basketball. Since I got to US 2018, that's when I started like playing real basketball. What is your least favorite thing playing basketball? Probably like maybe doing some point go move. Yeah, because I'm a big guy, I can't do that. <laughs> so this got kind of bad. If I do that, if I do that, then I have the ball, the coach is going to matter me, so. Is college hard? Bro, I'm going to tell you this, college, it's way harder, bro. If you, somebody you're giving up, you won't go to college. What is your favorite basketball shoe? I like the damn, the damn little uh, shoes because it's feel comfortable. Because <laughs> we're in Adidas, so. I used to wear Nike all the time, but now we're Adidas, so. When you're playing, I mean, when you're not playing basketball, what do you do? That's a good question. So I like, like, after practice or anything, I just go back go back to my room, maybe play a video game. I like to play video game. Do you have any pre-game rituals? Listen to some music, take a nap, especially nap. That's the best thing to do. Like, you will feel relaxed after that. And then now you're gonna maybe focus on what you gotta do when you're in the game, you know what I mean? What is the toughest mood you can do? So easy, bro, just hug shot. Cause when you told somebody, you just hug shot. They're not gonna block your shot because I'm a saving foot. So, mm -hmm. saving foot, and I got saving six wingspan. So, basically, if I jump a little bit, hook shot, they're not gonna block that. How high is your vertical jump? I'm like maybe 27. That's not bad, right? Some guys like maybe 40, 45, or 44, but I'm a big guy, so I don't think I need that. Oh, who's better, LeBron James or Kobe Bryant? But I'm not a fan of. LeBron though, I think I might go for Kobe. Sorry, sorry, bro. I know you're a LeBron fan, but are you? <laughs> okay. This is kind of similar to his. Who, who do you think would win in a one v one, Jordan or LeBron? Okay, it's gotta be like maybe Prime Jordan or yeah, Prime Jordan and Prime LeBron. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think Prime Jordan. I think so too. Me too. Yeah. We're on the same page. How about you? Uh, Michael Jordan. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, are you sure you're not copying us? No. <laughs> All right. Do you think you would should make it to March Madness? That's my goal, bro. I want to go there. At least like go there and then win the whole thing. I want the ring, though. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this thing. I feel I, I, I have a feeling like we're gonna do it good this year. Do you ever get nervous when you're playing in front of so many people? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you this. I don't know if you guys see this or not, but every time when I get in the game, when I come back, you guys don't watch me, right? I be looking for some way to just go throw up. 
<laughs> yes, you guys don't see that, but behind the scene, it happened a lot last year. Cause I get nervous, but it's okay to be getting nervous sometimes. But just, you know, don't show your nervous when you're in the game. Yeah. But just be yourself, all right? Hawaii is 8,927 miles from your home, Senegal. Yeah. But you were recently able to go home. So is it hard to live so far away from your family? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm tell you this, like, it just, something is not easy, you know? And then I got a lot of like responsibility for my family because the lifestyle is different and the country is different maybe. Uh, but at the end of the day, you got support, but they're not here. You know what I mean? But when you're around people love you, it just like maybe help a lot. But but the difference like this, when you're around your family and when you're around people love you, is different because your family is your blood, you know? But I have to, but I got a man up to just do my own thing without my family. When you were younger, what did you want to be when you grew up? I grew up like uh, maybe farming and stuff. So I never think of U.S. exists when I was growing up. Cause yeah, I know it's gonna surprise you because I was young, I was farming. And I think exactly what my parent was doing, that's what I'm gonna do growing up because I don't, I didn't know anything about what's going on in this earth, you know? Mm -hmm. It was just difficult. I didn't, I didn't have any chance like to maybe open up my mind, see what's going on in this world. What is your motivation to get better at basketball? Look at it this way. Let's say a basketball is not work for me. I'm in school, but let's say school is not work for me too. At the end of the day, I'm gonna get back doing what I was doing as a young man. That's not something I wanna do, you know? Every time, every time when I get in the hall, uh, get in the court playing basketball, I have to think about it. What I left back home, especially my mom, she was there for like I, I was here for almost like maybe six, five to six years. She never saw me. I had her like had a motivation every single day, whatever I'm doing, because I gotta maybe someday help her. I'm the only child in my mom, you know, because I gotta do something for her. Can we compare hand sizes? All right. Go for it. Let's see. Bro. Bro, you right here. How about you? Go for it. Uh oh. Yeah, someday you get there. How many languages do you know? I speak French. I speak Wolof. That's what we speak in Senegal. And I speak a little bit of English, you know? That's three, right? <laughs> How about you guys? Um, so far we can always speak English. That's not bad. Yeah. I'm with you too. Yeah. Only oh, English. sorry. Thank you, Morsek, for sitting with us. We had a great time getting to know you. And thank you to everyone watching this episode of Little Kiki Ask Big Questions. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. <laughs> hey, man, you're killing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you better come watch my game. And after the game, come say what's up to me, though. No matter, no matter if you lose or if you won, just come up to me, all right? Deal?